which shortly after arriving there, they asked him to be the bishop of the ward. We were both completely taken by surprise, but honestly, it's an ego boost. It's like, we're righteous enough that we could be trusted with this responsibility. It was also a challenge because I had two small children and another on the way, and it was overwhelming. The ward that we were in, they need a lot of help. He'd, he'd work a full-time job, and he was doing his church callings. Almost every single night of the week, including Monday, we'd try to have family home evening, but someone was on our doorstep or on the phone. There was always interruptions. But Anthony wasn't the only one with demanding bishopric duties. They extended to Carrie as well. So one of the expectations as a bishop's wife was to invite people over to your home for dinner. And so almost every Sunday, someone would be brought home and I would prepare dinner for them. And I felt like I had to set this perception or image that this is no sweat. I've, I've got this covered. But she didn't have it covered. The Molly Mormon mask Carrie put on each day concealed the fragile face of a woman at breaking point. The main pressure for me was just the daily grind. I felt like I have to put on this image of I'm perfect and I'm spiritually growing and I know all the right answers and I have a perfectly clean home and my children are immaculately dressed and they all know the articles of faith and we're just this perfect family. But Carrie and her family were far from perfect. And the pressure to be perfect was too much. In addition to struggling with loneliness and the weight of perfectionism, she felt guilty about the intrusive thoughts she was having about the whole situation. I really needed my husband, and I felt really guilty at the time for having these thoughts because he is the bishop of the ward, he's the father of the ward, and they are supposed to be his priority, but I felt like, I need you more than they need you. It was an impossible standard. How could you serve the people and do all of these things and not let it get in the way of your family and not let it get in the way of marriage? You couldn't be a good bishop and be a good father and a good husband. There just aren't enough hours in the day. Carrie admired Anthony's dedication, but she realized that he and she would never be enough to meet all the daily demands of a dutiful Mormon family. The mounting pressure pushed Carrie to search for ways to cope in the Mormon church, but the messages she heard were far from uplifting. If we are to walk with head held high, we must make our contribution to life. If we are to fulfill our destiny and return to live with our Father in heaven, we must keep His commandments and pattern our lives after the Savior. We just needed to work harder. We just weren't doing a good enough job or we'd be able to balance all this out. Or maybe there's some unrepented sin in our life and that's why we're struggling with these things and we needed to figure it out and be better. Enduring to the end or remaining faithful to the laws and ordinances of the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout our life is a fundamental requirement for salvation in the kingdom of God. This belief distinguishes Latter-day Saints from many other Christian denominations that teach that salvation is given to all who simply believe and co confess that Jesus is the Christ. The Lord clearly declared, if you keep my commandments and endure to the end, you shall have eternal life. Which gift is the greatest of all the gifts of God? Therefore, enduring to the end is not just a matter of passively tolerating life's difficult circumstances or hanging in there. Ours is an active religion, helping God's children along the straight and narrow path to develop their full potential during this life and return to Him one day. Enduring to the end is a process filling every minute of our life, every hour and every day from sunrise to sunrise. It is accomplished through personal discipline following the commandments of God. 
we weren't content with mediocrity. We wanted to be exalted. And I felt like I was enduring to the end. And so all I had to do was keep enduring. As long as I keep surviving, then I'm gonna be okay. But Carrie wasn't okay. She was burdened and about to break.